Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. Spirit of love, make us one indeed, one the love that we share, one our hope and despair, one the cross that we bear. God of all, we look to you, we would be your servants true. Let us be your love to all the world. We are many parts. We are all one body. And the gifts we have, we are given to share. May the spirit of love make us one indeed. One the love that we share, one our hope in despair, one the cross that we bear. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus be with you. As we gather to celebrate the Eucharist today, we pause and we ask Jesus to forgive us our sins. <clears throat> Lord Jesus, you rode gloriously from the dead, <coughs> giving us the hope of eternal life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you descended in glory to your Father's right hand and now intercede in our behalf. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you fulfilled your promise and sent the Holy Spirit upon us to lead us and guide us on our way to the Father in heaven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord said to Abram, Go forth from the land of your kinsfolk, and from your father's house to a land that I will show you. I will make of you a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those that bless you, and curse those who curse you. All the communities of the earth shall find blessing in you. Abram went as the Lord directed him, and Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he left Haran. Abram took his wife, Sarai, his brother's son, Lot, all the possessions that they had accumulated and the persons they had acquired in Haran, and they set out for the land of Canaan. When they came to the land of Canaan, Abram passed through the land as far as the sacred place of Shechem by the Terebith of Morah. The Canaanites were then in the land. The Lord appeared to Abram and said, To your descendants I will give this land. 
So Abram built an altar there to the Lord who had appeared to him. From there he moved on to the hill country east of Bethel, pitching his tent with Bethel to the west and Ai to the east. He built an altar there to the Lord and invoked the Lord by name. Then Abram journeyed on by stages to the Negev. The word of the Lord. Blessed the people the Lord has chosen to be his own. Blessed, Blessed the, people the people the Lord, the Lord has chosen, has to, chosen be his to be his own. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. From heaven the, the Lord looks Lord down, he it. sees all mankind. Blessed the people the, the Lord, Lord has chosen, chosen to be, to be his, his own. own. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. Blessed the people, people the Lord, the Lord has, chosen has chosen to be, to be his own. own. Our soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. Blessed Blessed the people the Lord has chosen chosen to be his own. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Word of God is living and effective, able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. Alleluia. For the Lord be in your heart and on your lips, that you may worthily and fittingly proclaim this holy gospel. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Stop judging that you may not be judged. For as you judge, so will you be judged. And the measure which which you measure will be measured out to you. Why do you notice the splinter in your brother's eye? but do not perceive the wooden beam in your own eye. How can you say to your brother, let me remove the splinter from your eye while the wooden beam is in your eye? You hypocrite, remove the wooden beam from your eye first, then you will see clearly to remove the splinter from your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> One of the projects I'm working on this summer, almost day and night, is uh, kind of going through the Old Testament and briefly summarizing each book of the Bible. I've kind of realized in recent years that our young people today, even in our education programs and our Catholic schools, know very little about the biblical stories. And I remember as a kid, we knew every one of them. But all the the fluff that we taste in some of our catechism classes today just don't do it. And that's why a few years ago, about five years ago, we hired an extra teacher just to do remedial work with the Religion and Education Program. And she goes from class to class each day, uh, teaching all of these things we used to learn years ago or learn from our parents. So it's been kind of interesting. I've ever summarized the first five books of the Bible in about 20 pages, and then uh, Judges and uh, Joshua and First and Second Kings. And uh, it's been a good experience for me because I've read the Bible a number of times, but I've never read a whole bunch in sequence. And um, 
the pattern is just extraordinary. God always is making promises and he keeps his promise and the people are always saying, yes, I will, I will. And then they turn away and turn away and turn away and turn away. And yet, when I think of my own life, I do the same thing. And I hear people's confessions all the time or the same father is it's the same thing week after week or month after month. Um, yeah, God promises, he keeps his promise, he is faithful. And we as people, in spite of all he has done for us, uh, keep resorting back to our own ways and so on. And I come to realize too in recent years that original sin is so prevalent among us. The original sin of Adam and Eve is they wanted to do their thing and not listen to God. And that's us too. Almost every time we sin, we choose to do what we want, even though we know it's contrary to God's teachings or laws. So it's been a, quite a good experience for me. Um, and um, today we have uh, God promising Abraham. If you leave your home here and go to this new area, um, hundreds of miles away, I will make your name famous among the, throughout the world and I will make you a great nation, children. Um, in the first Eucharistic prayer that we we'll use this morning, we refer to Abraham as our father in faith. All Catholics, all Protestants, all Jews, and all Muslims claim Abraham as a father in faith. That's a pretty great nation, about four billion people. Uh, fame, throughout the world today, Abraham's name is being mentioned. And every time a priest uses the Eucharistic prayer, his name is mentioned throughout the world. God makes promises. He fulfills them in ways that we never can imagine. And yet, in spite of all the promises he makes to us time and time and time again, very often we choose to ignore what he has promised us and choose to do our own thing. So it's good for us to think about that from time to time, time, and then really try our best to make God's will and his plan for us part of our life, rather than choosing to say, well, it doesn't apply to me, it doesn't apply to me, I can do this or whatever. So think about it and pray about it and uh, keep reading the scriptures. It has a wealth of knowledge to teach us. So with that in mind, let us pray. Oh God, our Heavenly Father, you are a God of love, a God of mercy, a God of forgiveness. Help us always to remember that and always turn, turn back to you when we have sinned and try to be faithful to you. Grant us this, Lord, in the favors we ask in Jesus' name. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Archbishop George Lucas, and all the priests and religious of the Archdiocese, that they will keep them reflective love to others. We pray to the Lord. For our prisoners, that by working together to build a parish center, we may draw closer as a parish family we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for peace throughout the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who are ill, that they may experience the healing presence of Jesus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, that they may know the joys of eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for young men and women, that they would discern God's calling them to a life of service in the church as priests or religious, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for the rain we have seen and for more rain throughout the growing season, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all of our unspoken needs and attention, let us now pause and pray to the Lord in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for Shane Atkinson. He died this past week. He'll be buried in St. Stanislaus Church in Duncan on Thursday. We pray for him and for his family. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We offer this Mass today for Ryan Jablonski. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O God, our Father of heaven, please grant us these and all our needs, for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name. For he is Lord forever and ever. Amen. 
And blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that, cleansed by his actions, we may make an offering of heart pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through his Paschal mystery, he accomplished the marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory that has made us a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people of your own possession, to proclaim everywhere, everywhere your mighty works. For you have called us out of darkness into the light of your wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the host and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy uh, and blessed gifts, unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard and unite and govern her throughout the world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, and all those who hold into the Catholic faith, hand on the Catholic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants and all who are gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offered for themselves and for all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, and the hope of health and well-being, and paying homage to you, their eternal God, living and true. In communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of God and our Lord Jesus Christ, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter, Paul, and Andrew, and all the saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things, we may be defended by your protecting help. And therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service and that of your whole family. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and count them on the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable 
so that it may become for us the body and blood of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands. With eyes raised to heaven, O God, as Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion, the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as you once were pleased, accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hand of your holy angel to your altar and high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your Son and be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants who have gone before us marked with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, to those sinners who hope in abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in the fellowship of your apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Isidore, and all your saints. Admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon to Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord, you sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, and by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Share with one another a sign of Christ's peace.
Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have the spread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Lord God, we ask you to receive this in your place. Christ, the body of Christ, the body of Christ. Please join me in making a spiritual communion. By Jesus, I believe you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you if, you, if you're already there, unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion hymn is number 618, I Have Loved You. <clears throat> I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. Seek the face of the Lord and long for him. He will bring you his light and his peace. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have called you and you are mine. Seek the face of the Lord and long for him. He will bring you his joy and his hope. I have loved you with an everlasting love I have called you and you are mine. I have loved you with an everlasting
everlasting love. I have called you, and you are mine. Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Let us pray the prayer in front of the misled. Loving Father, we come, we come to, come to you, you in adoration. adoration. May, May our hearts be open to your guidance, guidance on this journey. On this journey. You have bestowed in your church community the gift to openly worship and praise your name. We humbly give thanks for the opportunity to serve you with our gifts and talents. Jesus, pour out your Holy Spirit as we gather in prayer to build a faith-filled parish center for all generations. O oh, Sacred Heart of Jesus, pray for us. Blessed Virgin Mary, pray for us. Saint Isidore, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our final hymn is number 586. They'll know we are Christians. We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Lord. We are one in the Spirit. We are one in the Lord. And we pray that all unity may one day be restored. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. We will walk with each other. We will walk hand in hand. We will walk with each other. We'll walk hand in hand. And together we'll spread the news God is in our land, and they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. We will work with each other. We will work side by side. We will work with each other. We will work side by side. And we'll guard each one's dignity and save each one's pride. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father. Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors.